What's up guys? So today I got the Boxo Knives. Um, this was a, uh, a very interesting trade offer um, and it was for someone's entire neck knife collection. So uh, I have a bunch of neck knives in here which is always exciting. There's one particular one that I've been really looking for for a while that I always wanted to add uh, to my collection which actually would be better suited not as a neck knife at all but maybe a boot knife or something in the uh, waistband. Uh, we'll see that in a little bit here. So first I'm going to take this box, put it off to the side, and get some light. And we're just going to start digging in. Alright, so first neck knife here. Uh, you guys have seen this before, a little USMC, um, I guess, copy. <laughs> it's certainly not the scale, but super cool for uh, a neck knife. Alright, classic design. So I actually have one of these, just not this uh, coloration. Looks like it only goes in one way. All right, let's put that over there. Next up here. And some of these I, I'm familiar with and some of them I've never seen before. So here we have a very interesting <laughs> neck knife that's really a little tiny hatchet, I suppose. This is from uh, Boker Plus line. All right, it's a Graham design. You can see it could choke up here and you know like I said it's a, it's a hatchet not to say you have to swing it like one you basically just have a nice uh, small curved edge here okay bottle opener um, and then your little flathead screwdriver there of course your hex wrench in the middle is always a hex wrench pry bar on the back so yeah it's kind of a multi-tool but of course that could be carried on the neck as a very interesting neck knife all right, put that off to the side. Next up here, we have a CRKT. All right, this one I've seen. Uh, I don't even know if they saw this in production. This is a Klingon. All right, cool little leather sheath here, though. All right, and this is magnetic. So, this little portion here. And it's actually, it's funky looking, you know, but this whole circle here, uh, and, you know, this creates a little finger troll over here. It's actually pretty comfortable, believe it or not. Um, it, it just fills out the hand. Gives you something to hang on to a little bit. Pretty interesting. All right, it's the Klingon Van Hoy design. All right, it's a model 5030. So it's interesting. Don't have one of those in the collection. You see how it wants to grab there? All right, so let's make sure we don't cut our little button snap. Pretty cool. Could definitely dig it. All right. What else do we have here? That's funny because right off the bat, this kind of looks like the uh, Browse Blades, but it is not. This is Black Fox, uh, BF712. Never had one of these. Stainless steel, 440C. All right. A something, AD design maybe. All right. So we have that guy. But wait, there's more. There's a lot more. All right. Just grabbing at strings here now. We have a very classic CRKT spew. All right. Very nice. Have one of these in the collection, but they're fantastic knives. Don't mind having another. And speaking of which, I don't mind having another. <laughs> Here's another one. Another spew. All right, so this one still has the lantern on it as well. So we've got two spews. Two spews don't make a right. All right, so what else do we have here? Oh, we have the Spider Co. All right, this one's actually in plain edge. I have this in uh, serrated edge, so that's cool. Got the plain edge version of it now. That was definitely going in uh, rotation. I like to carry all my neck knives at some point. All right, so let's see, we got more. There is more. Okay. Next up, this one is a Hogue design. Pretty interesting. I like that the sheath, I don't know if you can see that sheath style, but it is uh, able to go in either direction, which is nice. It's nice and smooth. Almost like you feel like this kind of I don't know, really smooth resistance and it just snaps in place where it has to be. 
It's interesting. This is also one of those knives that's like all handle and a uh, little blade. So it looks uh, it looks a little bit like, you know, unproportionate. But uh, it's just to give you that big old grip. All right, so you got a finger troll here. You know, my, it's just really comfortable. Honestly, my, my thumb lands up here. So even though we have a smaller blade, we still have that full, nice handle grip. All right. So that is the Hogue EX F03. Pretty cool. I could dig it. A light switch design, 154 cm. All right, very nice. Put that here. What else do we have in our box of goodies? This one, I am not familiar with the uh, the branding. Here we go. Pop her out. All right. Let's see. Let me zoom in on this logo here. GIT or GTI? Just not familiar with it offhand. Um, neat little design. It seems a little bit unfinished. This one's in uh, N695. Um, you know, kind of sharp edges here, but you know, overall, just a you know, useful little design. So we'll see what that one's all about in the future. All right. Then we have a little guy from uh, Tops. <laughs> this little, or I'm sorry, not Tops. Uh, Condor. I was gonna say. I know that uh, that logo there. Little chunky dude. All right, so Condor knives. I don't know the model name on this one, but it's just it's just funny because it's, it's a little chunky, teeny little handle. It's great in this grip right here. It just feels awesome to be able to cut like that. But here it just feels strange because it's such a such a normal sized handle, but so small. You know, so you get that like one and a half finger grip on it. <laughs> but kind of cool. Little chody knife there. All right. Put that right like that. Let's see. Next up here, another CRKT. I have not had this model before. All right. Let's pop this. I have its sheath. All right. Let's see. It's called the Owlet. And it does look like it has a nice little bottle opener on there and the, integrated into the handle. But yeah, decently comfortable. Interesting for sure. All right, nice little snap. All right, what else do we have? We have Kershaw. Don't know this model either. A 2085 Kershaw. Interesting. Seems like it would work totally fine. Sheath also looks kind of ambidextrous. Nothing really snaps in. I mean, it just kind of pressure fits in there, which is weird. I have to double check and make sure this is the sheath for this knife. It just, just kind of pressure fits. It's not going to fall out or anything, but it's definitely not snapping in, so to speak. All right, so we have a couple more here. Looks like there's three more. Here's a classic. K-Bar. This is that last ditch um, knife. Pretty cool. This one's definitely been used, which I like seeing. I like seeing knives that are used. What else do we have here? All right, two more. This one, which is kind of funky, but I like it. <laughs> I've never seen this design before. Um, this is from AJ Blades, number 327. Interesting. This is in 3CR13. Three, uh, three right. AJ 327, crafted in China. I don't know who AJ's Blades are. Um, interesting. I, I love the whole dagger thing. I like the rubbery craton. It has this kind of spike on the bottom, which is actually fairly pointy. <laughs> so I have to imagine, and it looks like this is an ambidextrous uh, blade as well, or uh, uh, sheath. Let's see, let's pop that around there. Yeah, fits either way. The only issue with this one is this is little spike thing, which is fantastic if you're a ninja with, you know, missing all your fingers, because I don't know how you get to stab that without holding the blade, you know what I mean? Just one of those things. I guess if you very carefully hold it like this, you can poke something with that. Uh, but the only thing you're going to be really poking is your chest. All right, so if you bend over and this digs into you, ouch. So I might give this a day just to just to say that I wore it, but um, I don't know how that thing is going to, that is not going to be comfortable. I don't know. I, I still like it. I think it's cool. But maybe, again, as a little hidden boot knife or something instead. But even then, if I had a boot knife, I'd want something with a little bit more reach, you know, a little bit 
more comfort in the, uh, the handle. It is nice as a hole in there. I can't really get my finger through it. It's not like I can use it like a, you know, karambit hole or anything like that. So I don't know. It's just more cool looking than practical. But I still dig it. And then the last one here, which is the one I was talking about that I was looking forward to, is a Bastinelli. I like everything Bastinelli, I have to say. Um, I haven't seen a model that I, I haven't fallen in love with. They're all just awesome. This thing is seriously like a, a tiger's claw. Um, just super cool though. Very just, just rounded and smooth and like it would really be comfortable to actually use this thing. Once this is in your, your grip like this, it's not going anywhere. And if you were to actually use this on uh, flesh and bone, it would be um, traumatic. That's all I could say. But love this. You can see Fox Italy M690. There we go. Little collaboration with uh, Bassinelli Knives and Doug. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Mm, Markeba, maybe? I don't know. Looks like a C. But anyway, super, super cool design. Like I said, just wicked sharp. Love a nice grabbit. See, there's some uh, jimping on the back there as well. All right, so if I did want to hold this in a forward grip, it is still extremely comfortable, extremely usable. You could zip open anything from, you know, a box to a person, whatever you happen to need it for. Um, but like I said, even though this is part of the old neck knife collection, this is something I'd probably have hidden in my waistband, something like that. It literally has a last ditch effort uh, to defend myself. You know, this would make a fantastic retention knife. Uh, like, you know, I'm righty, so if I go to draw my right hand and I'm struggling with someone, there's some kind of fight, just, you know, dip in on the left side of my body and just be able to, you know, pull that out and then use this uh, as a retention blade. Man, that's nasty, nasty stuff there. But uh, anyway, uh, just, uh, again, just a huge fan of Bassinelli stuff in general. So there you have it. Uh, that is the trade. Wow. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 neck knives, um, all in one trade, a whole darn collection. Uh, and what it's for? Uh, miscellaneous stuff. The person wanted to, uh, to trade these, just not getting use out of them, uh, wants to get some folders and uh, some fixed blades, as well as uh, maybe cheaper ballast songs, things like that. So I'm going to throw together a package for them. So that is it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Let me know down in the comment section, do you rock a neck knife? And if you do, do you open carry your neck knife or conceal carry? I know um, there's been a lot of people who watch my videos who've lightened up to the idea of neck knives. Some people just absolutely love them. I get messages all the time. Oh my God, I never thought about wearing a neck knife. And then I watch your videos and now I do and it's amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you can appreciate what it is because I think it's amazing. Um, but then there's a lot of people who uh, like the idea of having a concealed neck knife. They don't want the attention. Totally understand that. Um, you know, I, I'm used to it. I really am used to it. People, I make jokes all the time too. You know, hey, ladies, my eyes are up here. <laughs> Stop staring at my neck knife. Because uh, I'll talk to people and, and some people are like trying to be subtle and they give me like the side eye or the quick little back and forth. But some people are like literally staring at my neck knife like I'm hanging a grenade off my chest. Like they just don't know what to make of it and it's super awkward. And usually I'll mention it to break the ice, you know, and sometimes it makes it even more awkward. But, you know, that's not how everyone rolls. <laughs> a lot of you guys uh, and gals like to carry it, you know, under a hoodie, under your jacket, under your shirt or whatever. Um, and I get that too. It's cool. It's great to have a backup. You never know. But you don't necessarily want to flash it around. It's, it's definitely an odd thing to do, but I'm an odd guy. So I don't really care. That's just, uh, I am who I am and there's no apologies for that. So I wear my neck knife open and proud and uh, I get a lot of use out of it. It's a fantastic tool. And I've talked to a lot of people too that, you know, are a little intimidated at first. They might see it and be like, oh, what is that? I'll, I'll take it out. And I'm amazed at how many people think it's awesome. You know, all different walks of life, men and women, um, every color, you know, every gender, they just, they, they love it. They, they, they think it's really cool, you know? And, and, and I, I like that some people are bold enough to be like, oh, wow, is that, is that a knife? And I'm like, yeah, it's a knife. And I take it out and I, I show them, you know, I let them handle it. Um, depending on the situation, of course, if they seem <laughs> responsible, doesn't mean they are. Um, but yeah, and they appreciate that. It's cool. Like I said, a lot of times it's just breaking the ice and, and just mentioning it alone is enough for them to go, okay, all right. As long as we both acknowledge you have a knife hanging from your chest. And I, I go to the bank like this, you know, I talk to bankers all the time. Um, it, it used to be a, a funny thing back in the day too, but that's how people recognize me, believe it or not. As, as a customer, 
Uh, they may not recognize my face all that much um, or my name, but it's I'm the guy who has the knife uh, hanging around his neck. Um, and the knife is always changing. So as you see, I have a lot more uh, options for the uh, upcoming weeks and, and trying some different stuff out. Definitely some, some new ones here that I haven't had before. Some old classics that I have. Just pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. These are all awesome. Looks like they're all going to be wonderful and functional, except for maybe this one. Um, but I still think it's cool. So anyway, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.